All right, good morning, second grade students. Today for language arts, we are going to be talking about completing the opinion, reason, example tables. All right, so first off, we're gonna be talking about what is an opinion. So an opinion states a person's or group's thoughts, feelings, or beliefs about something. So with an opinion, it cannot be proven true because it relies on that person's feelings or thoughts or beliefs from that specific person or from a group of people. So if I said, I really like pepperoni pizza, that is an opinion because it can't be proven true. We can't... We can't look it up on the internet or in a book and say that, yes, pepperoni pizza is the best pizza. So that is my opinion. For you, maybe pepperoni pizza is your favorite, um, or it might not be. Um, and so that would be your opinion is that maybe you think that a pizza with mushrooms on it is best. So with opinions, they can never be proven true because it is that person or a group of people's own thoughts. All right, and then the opposite of an opinion would be a fact. So a fact is something that can be proven true. So we can go online, we can read in a book, and everywhere everybody is going to agree that it can be proven true. So an example of a fact is that the earth is round and there is evidence to prove that this is true. So again, we can go online, uh, we can read about it in books, but the example of the earth is round can be proven true. So that would be a fact. And then next up we have reason. So reason explains why you do something, such as you go to school in order to learn. So reason can also be why something happened, such as the car wouldn't drive because it was out of gas. So the reason the car wouldn't move is because there was no gas inside. So reason usually has to do more with thought instead of emotions and how you feel. All right, so let's do a learn with an example from IXL. So it says that we need to complete the table. So we see in the table it has opinion, reason, and example. So let's read through the three boxes. So the top box says, I think someone should fix the old bridge. Next we have, for example, the old bridge shakes every time we walk across it. And the last one says, the old bridge is not safe. So let's look at the key idea here. So it says, you can write to give your opinions. An opinion is what you believe, think, or feel about something. People can have different opinions. <clears throat> when you write, start with your opinion. Next, support your opinion with a reason. A good reason tells why you have the opinion. Then you should also give an example. So a good example supports your reason. All right, so now we're gonna look at how the opinion, the reason, and the example all work together in this table. So it says the opinion, bananas are good for breakfast. Reason, they go well with other breakfast foods. An example, you can add them to pancakes or cereal. So now when we put those three together, we could say bananas are good for breakfast because they go well with other breakfast foods. For example, you can add them to pancakes or cereal. 
So we see that the opinion, it says, I think. So usually with an opinion, you're going to say, I think, or we think, if you're talking about a whole group that agrees on the same thing. So I think someone should fix the old bridge. So this opinion shows what the writer believes, thinks, or feels. Reason, the old bridge is not safe. So this reason supports that opinion, and it tells why the writer has that opinion. And then an example, and it even said in there, for example, so there is the key word right there that this one would go in the example column. So for example, the old bridge shakes every time we walk across it. This example supports the reason. So if we were going to put this all together into a sentence, we could say, I think someone should fix the old bridge because it is not safe. For example, it shakes every time we walk across it. All right, so let's look at one more IXL example. So again, we have opinion, reason, and example. So the top box says, for example, last summer we went to Spain. Second box says, I believe summer is the best time of year. And our last box says, my parents take us on trips in the summer. So remember, with the opinion... We always want to look for like the word like I or we. Like I think, I believe, we think, we believe. So we see in the second box, we have I believe summer is the best time of year. So we would want to put this one into our opinion box. Because you're saying that your opinion is that summer is the best time of year. But other people might think summer is not the best time of year. Now a reason could be my parents take us on trips in the summer. So maybe that's why summer is the best time of year to you is because that's when you get to take trips with your parents or your family. And again, with the example, um, this one kind of gives it away because again, it says, for example, last summer we went to Spain. So you're giving a specific example of the reason that then ties in with your opinion. All right, and that is our language lesson for today.